Hi my angels now today i have got this emerald green christmasy makeup look to show you guys so if you like to see how to get this look then keep on watching Now jumping straight to the tutorial first I'll be starting off by moisturizing my skin and I'm using my Clinique Moisture Surge and this is a really really good moisturizer because it sinks into the skin very well. Then for the lip balm today I'm using my Body Shop lip balm in the flavor Passion Berry and applying all over the lips and then grabbing my Kiss Beauty concealer palette, concealer and corrector palette. I'll be taking this uh, orange corrector and I'll be applying underneath my eye area just to correct some darkness. And then moving straight to the eye makeup today I'll be using my Urban Decay eyeshadow base and I'm, I'll be applying it all over my eye area. Then taking my Miss Claire loose powder in the shade TL04 it's a banana powder. I'll be setting the eye area so that all the eyeshadows they blend together. And then going to the eyebrows I'm using my Audible eyebrow pomade and then I'll be filling up my eyebrows. Now after I'm done with filling up my eyebrows, I'll be taking some concealer with a concealer brush and I'll be cleaning out the edges of the eyebrows just to give it a more sharp look. Now moving over to the eye makeup, I'll be taking my Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette and taking this caramel shade from this palette, I'll be applying it to my socket area and this is going to act as a transition shade. Now I, I want this eye makeup to look very warm so I'm gonna layer it with another dark shade from the same palette and I'll be taking this warm brown shade and I'll be layering it on top of that caramel shade just to give it a more definition. Now next going with my Juvia's Masquerade palette I'll be taking the shade called Zobo and I'll be hitting it directly into my crease and then diffusing well with a blending brush from pack. After that going back to the Kathleen Lights palette I'll be taking this uh, black shade with a pencil brush and I'll be applying that right in the outer corner of my eyes as you can see here. Then taking this gorgeous green shade called Mali, I'll be applying that right in the center of my eyelid. And after I'm done with that, just to intensify the outer corner a bit, I'll be going back with a black shade with a pencil brush once again. And then again going with the blending brush I'll be diffusing all the shades well. Now for the eyeliner today I'll be using my extra lasting eyeliner, eyeliner in the shade navy blue from Avon. <clears throat> now coming back to the skin my face makeup first I'll be applying this facial oil from Miracle Glow Avon and I'll be applying that all over my face. This is going to act as a primer and it's going to hydrate my skin. Then going with the foundation today, I'll be using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation in the shade Golden Beige. And then I'll be taking my L'Oreal True Match Concealer and I'll be applying that underneath my eye area and at the usual places where I need some coverage. Then taking a damn beauty blender, first I'll blend out the concealer and then I'll be blending out the rest of my face. And in this way I'm not going to cake up lots of product so I've applied the foundation as well as the concealer separately and I'll be blending that with the beauty blender. Now 
Next, I'll be setting the concealer with my Miss Claire Banana Powder once again in the shade TL04. Then taking my LA Girl Cream Concealer Stick, I'll be concealing the usual places, the hollows of my cheek, the jawline, just below the lower lip and the sides of my nose. And then blending it well with a contour brush. Now after I'm done with this cream contour, I'll be taking my Bahama Mama bronzer and we'll be setting the cream contour. Then next again taking the loose powder from Miss Claire in the shade TL04, I'll be just cleaning out the contour area just below the hollows of my cheek. Now going back to the blush, I'll be using my favorite blush, this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bella Rosa. And then I'll be applying some highlighter at the usual places, the high points of my face and I'm using my pack baked highlighter in the shade 02 which you know it's one of my favorite highlighter and then taking my Avon glimmer stick in the shade emerald I'll be lining my lower waterline and this is a beautiful green eye pencil and then going back to the Juvia's masquerade palette I'll be taking this shade called Zobo and I'll be smudging out the emerald eye pencil with a smudge brush from Calabar And then I'll be highlighting my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eyes with the same pack baked highlighter. Then I'll be lining my lips with a lip liner from Miss Claire and I'll be filling it up. Today I'll be going with two lip shades from MAC. One is the Captive and the other is the Chatterbox. First I'll be applying this shade called Captive. This is an amplified finish lip shade from MAC and after I'm done with that I'll be just dabbing a little bit of chatterbox right in the center and to lock it all up I'll be using my color bar fixing spray then I'll curl my eyelashes and today I'll be going with a blue mascara from Lakme Iconic and I'll be applying some generous coats of mascara So this is it, I'm done guys, this is the finished look, a beautiful emerald Christmassy green makeup look for you all. I hope you have liked this video, if you did so then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and wish you a Merry Christmas in advance. I'll see you soon, take care, bye bye.